Knock this guy out. Happily. Jesus! Oh, oh. oh sh damn, you got knocked out. How did I fall again? Why does my guy always fall? Oh my god. Man. Good shot, lady. You okay? Just great, thanks. How I do, what I do. Damn, dude, that guy got knocked down a lot by the old guy. I wanna fight him. You're gonna get in! Got knocked down by your own family. Looks like it's done and shit. Is that the military? I don't know. Thank God for whatever it is. We almost died because of this bitch and a Richie trigger finger. That was stupid! That was. Uh, uh, Dad! Was he the one bitten? No, don't be crazy. It's his heart. My pills. Um, nitroglycerin pills? Yes, Viagra. we're out. We've been trying to get into the pharmacy since we got here. Please try to get in there. Behind the counter where the pills are. Why should I help this asshole? There's probably another entrance. Yes. Maybe through the office. How do you know that's an office? Uh, educated guess. It doesn't matter. We need nitroglycerin pills. Please get in there. I'll keep an eye on my dad. Everyone else should get comfy and look for anything useful. We could be in here a while. I'm starting to think this drugstore isn't a permanent solution. You're right. This ain't exactly Fort Knox. What do you suggest? We need as much gas as possible so we can all get out of downtown Macon. Fast. Agreed. Then I'll head out and get gas. There's a motel not too far from here, out towards the end of Peachtree. I'll work my way towards it and then loop back, siphoning what I can. Damn, that'd be great. Well, it's gotta get done. Plus, I'm quick, and I know Macon. Local? Born and raised. If you're gonna do that, here's a walkie-talkie if you get in a tight spot. This guy reminds me Hopefully, of the guy from the Asian guy from it. The Walking Dead. Cool. Clementine's got the other one. Check in with her and get back here as soon as you can. And you? What's your name? It's Lily. My dad's Larry. Keep a good eye on him. These boys will work on getting you your medicine. That's right. Oh, now you're trying and to you, kiss ass you keep an eye on that front home. door. You're our lookout. It's Doug. You got it. And I'm Carly. Okay, Carly. You'll shift in with Doug when he needs it. For now, get some rest. You're a good shot, and I'd like to keep it that way. You got it, boss. Now get him those what? pills. He's the boss. I'm the boss. Him that much. He just got knocked out and comes in and they call him boss. No, I'm sorry to hear your loved one was eaten by the living dead guards. Uh, boo, we can't let more. anything happen to Ducky. I know, hun. Yeah. How's he doing? I'm not sure I got your name. It's Lee. Lily. My dad's Larry. You want to go in the back and shag? I was just doing what I had to earlier. Everyone was. He didn't have to call me a bitch in front of my people. I don't need that shit, all right? It's hard enough to be in charge of people's lives without some dick cutting you down. And that violence before with my dad? That didn't help. You from here? I work at Warner Robins, the Air Force base. Yeah, I know it. Pilot? Nah, just mechanical admin stuff. I deal with a bunch of shitheads and bureaucrats all day. Sometimes a plane, if I'm lucky. You? I work up at UGA. What do you think about all this? What is there to Doesn't think? Guy, like, the dead are up, walking around, place. eating people, and turning them into more... more of them. I mean, Jesus. We need to stick together and get through this. 
Was anyone here when you guys got here? No, this place was pretty wrecked. We pulled a couple of bodies out of the office. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Did you know anybody here? Yeah, the owners, they were, uh, we were close. I'm sorry. We found an older couple in the office. Dad hauled them out in case they weren't really dead. What's wrong with him? He's got a heart condition. He takes nitroglycerin tablets pretty regularly. I've seen a few bad attacks that he couldn't get over and needed to go to the hospital. Yeah, that's uh, not really an option right now. I'm just trying to keep him relaxed. I'm gonna get back to him now. Watch your mouth. Find anything? It's a photo of the family who owned this place. It might help us track down the keys to the office. I know who you are. You're Lee Everett. You're a professor at Athens who killed a state senator who was sleeping with your wife. This oh, is your parents' shit. store. Folks around town know the owner's son got himself a life yeah, sentence, but I'm a reporter for WABE in Atlanta. I paid attention to that trial. Maybe you're a murderer, but I don't really care. Frankly, that's, that's a skill that might come in handy. <laughs> so that's the dream Did you that tell anyone out there who well, you were, uh, or that you were tied like to this the place? In the bar when you're like, it's not like she was like moaning or something. What's it to you? And, um, to me? I'm not I the one with the felony record. Screaming when he you seem like an okay guy, and the last thing we need is drama out there. Freaking You've got this little girl to take care of, and look, don't make me wrong on this. I don't plan to. Good. Because if this lasts longer than a few days, and you're a detriment to the group, then we'd have a problem. I hear you. I'll just keep it to myself. Thanks. Don't worry about it. Yeah, Carly wants my slang. Alright, so... We have to, uh... I don't want to go on the exit. I ought to clear a path to opening that door. Dad's cane. He'd zip around here on it from time to time. Was he sick? Nah, he was okay. I actually saw him whoop shoplifters with it. <laughs> this cane's protected this place better than any guard dog ever could. Plus, he knew how to make it look cool. Like you with your hat. My dad gave it to me. See, Dad just smart sweat. like that. Better get this door clear, huh? Can I help? <laughs> Look at her face. Sure. Here we go. Like Watch there. your fingers in the drawers. <clears throat> How are you doing? Yeah, it's not that heavy. How about with everything outside? It's not good. No, it's not. But I think it'll be okay. Okay. Here we go. Yo, she's dumb brolic. Do you have kids? No. You don't have a family? What are you 
parents do? My mom is a doctor, and my dad is an engineer. Those are good jobs. What's your job? I, uh, teach history and writing and things like that. Like, um, social studies? Yeah, like that. Yeah, like that. Not you didn't answer my question. All right, a little further. Why don't you want to talk about your family? Do they, like, hate you? Because they're dead. Oh, I'm sorry. You didn't know. I'm just sorry for being mean. Look, my family's gone and I just wish things would have been different. Yeah. I, uh, I, I got into a fight once. And what happened? And it ended really badly. And after that, I wasn't allowed to talk to my family. That's so sad. Let's move this thing. Are you okay? I hurt my finger. Is it bleeding? A little. I'll find you a bandage. There's a band-aid in there, I bet. Oh, good. Okay, it still hurts. Lee? Yeah? What if my parents come home and I'm not there? They'll, uh, track us down. Don't worry. Yeah, okay. We should keep a lookout. I've got my walkie-talkie in case they try that way. Stay close to me until then, okay? Let's have a look at that finger. How? It hurt. <laughs> Let's see if we can do something about it. Let's get this cut covered up. Yes, please. Stop procrastinating, damn it. Put it on. Alright guys, so that's going to wrap it up for, I think this is episode 5 of my Walking Dead series. I hope you enjoyed. Be sure to leave a like and a comment below, and I'll see you guys for my next episode. Peace.